Do you wonder how SharePoint sites are structured behind Microsoft Teams? My name is Szymon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. I will introduce you to the architecture of the integration between Teams and SharePoint. Microsoft Teams are heavily interconnected with the SharePoint Online. On this channel, you can already see the, another video that will introduce how you can use SharePoint sites behind Microsoft Teams and bring some data from SharePoint to Teams itself. But today I want to introduce you how the SharePoint sites and the structure behind them are created in the current setup of the Microsoft Teams when you can have multiple types of the channels which are private or are shared internally with the other teams. This setup extends the way how the architecture behind Teams on the SharePoint Online looks right now. If you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. Now we will switch to my screen when I will deeply present how SharePoint structure is created when you managing your teams with multiple channels. So as I already mentioned, if you working in Microsoft Teams and creating multiple channels, the structure on the SharePoint Online will be created behind them. What is quite important right now when you are creating the channel in the Microsoft Teams, you have dedicated three types of the channel that you can create. One is standard, so something that we knew since the beginning of Microsoft Teams as it worked today. Private channel, so dedicated channel which have limited access, which you can also manage, and share a channel, so something totally new, when you can choose this section with your organization and also other organizations through access management. And what is quite important, multiple SharePoint sites will be created. And this is quite important to understand what type of the SharePoint sites and with what kind of access will be added to your SharePoint environment when you're creating multiple channels on your Microsoft Teams. Right now we have the dedicated team created in Microsoft Teams finance department with multiple channels including the private channel and the shared channel right in here. So let's start and see what kind of SharePoint structure will be created behind it and what kind of access rights will be set for this specific space on the SharePoint online behind it. So let's start from the native team SharePoint structure. So if you will go to the files and then to the option open in SharePoint, you will see that you will open SharePoint structure that is created behind finance department and in the documents level you will get all standard channels created as a dedicated folders. This type of channels are represented on the SharePoint site as a dedicated folders created in here. From perspective of the access management, there is group finance department owners and finance department members, which you can manage. So if you will go there to see details, you can see that we have three standard SharePoint groups created in here with the access rights assigned. And in case of members, we have dedicated Microsoft 365 group represented in this case as a security group that manage the access through membership. And as a site collections administrators, we have another group department owners added in here. So this is the way how the access is added. So if you will add new members to these two groups, these people will be added automatically for the Microsoft Teams team plus standard channels. If you will go back to the private channel and do exactly the same operation and open this space in case of the corporate, you will see 
that we are navigated to the different SharePoint site. The name, the title of the SharePoint site is the team's name and the channel name. Of course, this is the dedicated space, so separated SharePoint site created just for this channel. And with from perspective of the SharePoint site permission, you will see that we have the owner and we have listed members that are added on the channel level. So again, access management is populated a little different way we don't have dedicated groups in here people by themselves are added to manage the access but the crucial part is that we have dedicated separated sharepoint site created just for this one private channel and going back to the shared channels that could be also created in your team if we try to open the sharepoint which is created behind you can see again that this is a little different shared sharepoint site so third sharepoint site created behind microsoft teams you can also see this signature what is the source of this sharepoint site plus if we will go to the site permissions, you can see that we have people listed plus group added from perspective of the Microsoft 365 group. But again, from SharePoint perspective, this is the third SharePoint site that is created based on our Microsoft Teams team. You can imagine that if you will have quite complex Microsoft Teams team structure with multiple private channels and multiple shared channels, this will generate a lot of SharePoint sites behind it. Let's see how that kind of structure looks from the SharePoint Admin Center. We moved to our Microsoft 365 Admin Center and specifically to the SharePoint Admin Center. So if you will go to the active sites list, you can figure out that not all sites created behind Microsoft Teams are listed in here. We have the finance department site, but we doesn't have the sites created for the shared channel or for the private channel. I imagine that this is some kind of not implemented functionality yet in here and these sites will be listed in here in the future but at the same time today you can miss them from the perspective of listing them directly from here let's check how the sites will look like if we will generate list of all sites on the powershell level so what we did, we generate the Excel spreadsheet that contains list of all SharePoint sites on our Microsoft 365 tenant based on get SPO comment in the PowerShell. And you can see three SharePoint sites that were created by finance department, corporate and finance announcements. So you can see these SharePoint sites are structured here. There's no that much metadata that allows you to somehow structure which sites are connected with what Microsoft Teams, but you can use the reference to the Microsoft 365 group used in the, I would say, root SharePoint site created behind Microsoft Team because it is also used in here as a related group ID. If you will ever have to structure somehow how your SharePoint sites are organized, these two parameters could be quite useful for you to make it happen. As you can see, this integration between SharePoint and Microsoft Teams could be a little tricky, but I hope this video make this integration between SharePoint Online and Microsoft Teams more intuitive for you. Remember, there could be multiple SharePoint sites created behind Microsoft Teams. In future videos, I will also help to understand better how this setup of the data created behind Microsoft Teams looks like and how to use it. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.